When Biden announced yesterday that he would not seek the Democratic nomination for president, a friend tweeted that Joe Biden would be the one giving the keynote at the Democratic National Convention next summer, rather than some rising star along the lines of a Barack Obama at the convention in 2004. I tweeted back that if a gaff-prone septuagenarian was the best the Dems could do, the party's in serious trouble. Back came something to the effect that the prospect of a Ben Carson presidency is equally unserious. Then came the offer of a lobster dinner bet, with my friend taking the position that the Dems will nevertheless win the White House in 2016. I didn't take the bet, but I can tell you how the GOP can win. Simply do the best job of convincing Americans that something concrete will be done to address a persistently weak economy, a foreign policy that's sowing chaos all over the world, growing domestic unrest, rising racial tension, a complete breakdown of immigration enforcement, and a general sense held by a very large majority that things just aren't going all that well. That Donald Trump and Dr. Ben Carson Two complete political outsiders are number one and two in the polls for the GOP nomination is telling us a lot. The American people are fed up with government as it has been practiced for the past 20 years. Big government liberalism has been tried with a vengeance these past seven years, and yet people are more unhappy than in a generation. All of this to say that if the GOP can't win this time, it will never win again. That's my word. What's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter at Paul Gleiser.